How many shots did I get? 25. <laughs> you were just peppering me there. Yeah, that second period is all me. Yeah. I don't think you had the puck for very long. Nope. All right, so we're going to go Edmonton versus Edmonton here? Yeah. All right. What am I going to use here? Oh, I know what I'm going to use. I, I can only pick the white jerseys. Yeah, because you're the road team. Yeah, I know. That's, it sucks. That's silly. Yeah. There we go. I know that. Those are not the ones that I wanted. What do you want? The ones that you had. <laughs> <laughs> we can switch. No, it's fine. All right. So I was going to say, I, I wanted the ones you had, you had the ones I had. So that would have been perfect. I don't mind the, the retros, but there is a little too much orange for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you completely. I do not like the orange pants. If you're going to go with orange pants, just go with orange pants, period. Well, just make the pants blue and then they'll be fine. Yeah. All right, for anybody that just popped in here, uh, welcome. I am playing uh, the new RCW uh, Canadian Tag Team Champion, Chris Parrish, in a best of three here. We've tied 1-1, one, one, so now we're going Oilers versus Oilers. And I'm going to be the one in the dark blue, and he's the one in the white. If we both get a goal within our first 10 shots, it's just funny. The Oilers start with possession as we are now underway. Here's a blast. Turns it aside. Oh. the turnover in the offensive zone. Jesus. Ha! Pulia Irvi. Taking out your doppelganger. boy. <laughs> I don't look how, I don't like how I look in the mirror. Power play unit comes that out for the face penalty. Off. That was a clean oh, hit. comes the league's best power play. Cuz you ran at me from the blue line. Any chances tonight. And in a game like this, they very well could be the difference. That's what Bison Kings do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess he ran at me like a bison, so that makes sense. Right? He had his tongue out and everything. How was that too late? Pass it up ahead, and they get the puck out of the defense. Go in. Head. No, it's Smith. No, Cost it changed much this year. Right in front of the net. Can't connect. CC is lugging the puck. I didn't even know I still had it. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. And they get the puck out. Barry stick handling in his own zone. Moves it quickly over to Hyman. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Oh, Jesus. The Oilers kill off the penalty. Got to give their shorthanded unit a lot of credit. Pretty hard to have a more low That's intensity. That's totally interference. They really didn't generate a thing. And With the lag, you can't tell. Much, you're sure not going to score. And that's deflected. Pugliarvi's taking it from his own end. Into the offensive end now. Takes a bump but hangs on. Check it along the wall by Pugliarvi. Puck scooped up by Bouchard. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Tremendous glove save by Smith. 
All right, I think it's time for a line change. See, that's what I mean. Like, instead of passing the guy in the net, he passed it More all the way across the to the D. Yep. And it's like, I'm why? That's not even where I'm pointing. McLeod's won the face off. Hey, look, the McLeod doesn't want to face off. How realistic. Shot turns it aside with the glove. Smith's on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Offense is on face off and he wins the draw. Ah, I was trying to pass to the air D and it didn't work. It lagged on me. I know it's weird. This last this last game, this connection's gone down a little bit. Oh, the hockey god saying Oilers twice? Why? <laughs> Pretty much. Oh! Nice pick off Cass. Jesus. Cuts into the paint. Oh. Smith's on top of that for the whistle. I'll say that was a nice I turnover. Thought I had that one too. Nice drop pass. The Oilers win the draw. Of course you stick check me. chances like this James you don't get many that are this nice oh I was waiting for that are you getting a lot of lag right now every once in a while I'll get lag like every few seconds it's not constant but you can see it on man they did not do the side numbers justice on these jerseys nope But you, you can see I'm sinking. They didn't even have the font and the numbers correct either. Nope. Yeah, like I can't get a draw worth my life now. Oh my God, did Smith to make that save? Oh my God, stop lagging on me, please. I got it too. Oh Jesus! No! You like to call that the timing maneuver? Yeah. Wow. And it was typical McDavid instead of shooting, he passed the puck. Yeah. Well, of course, there's your, and of course you get the special highlight feature. Yeah. Wait, what what are the shots right now? I'm not we'll check after the period. I don't know. It's gotta be fairly even because we've both been taking a bunch of shots. I just mean we both, probably both got shot I go within in the first ten shots of the game. Oh and uh Oh look, Hyman learned everything in Toronto. Capped it in, in the chat. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I tried to decorouge ya. Nugent Hopkins setting up against the wall. Wow. That was nasty. That was nasty. Two goals in just under two minutes. Conversely, it's deflating for the other team. I'll guarantee you there's not ten shots for both of us. I don't think the goaltender gets a look at this. I used your own defenseman on the screen. Yeah, I know. But the thing hits him through that traffic. Wow. The Oilers have the go ahead goal. What's the approach now? Shouldn't change it. The only thing he didn't learn in Toronto is how to win a playoff game. Yeah. Well, he learned how to be up to that in He learned how to go up 3 1 in a series. Here's a shot. Or in a game. Oilers gain control of the puck. Puck picked up by Nugent Hopkins. 
Oh, let's go. Here they right come along the wing. And now he tries to get <laughs> Friggin' Yamamoto passed that puck properly. I want to know how I didn't get a power playoff shot. Oh, and uh, Captain Ant, because Edmonton's been doing stellar in the playoffs lately. <sighs> He's not wrong. Well, we, won, we did win the last cup between the two teams. That's true. Actually, we won the last five. And to be fair, the Leafs have never won a cup while the Oilers have been in the league. True. Some last second so. communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. The Oilers take possession off the faceoff. Off target. Why is it? <laughs> hooks that one up high. And, I mean, he's going for the shelf just over top of the bar. The Oilers gain possession in their own end. Quick feed to Hyman. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Feeds the puck over to Hyman. Poked away at center by Nurse. Taken along the wall by Hyman. And he makes the save. Ah, Smith. Why are you passing that when you're supposed to shoot it? Hot damn. And that'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of action here tonight. We've got lots of... I'll, I'll say that was a hell of a goal for you. That one from Nuge? Oh, yeah. You got 13, I got six. I guarantee you there was three, three before, uh, three shots after you scored, right? Fair point, but Edmonton is arguably the best team on paper is on track to miss the playoffs this year. Wait till tomorrow. There's, there's rumors that there's going to be an announcement tomorrow. That might change the tide for the Oilers, hopefully. I kind of think Bob two. Nicholson might get fired. Here we go, frame now. I think everything for the top down should be replaced, but that's just me. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Also fighting over who won the last cup has been over 30 years. It's almost pointless. Eh, to a point. Yeah, but I was alive when they won their last cup. Yeah, I was, I was alive for all five. Players of that area are long retired? Yeah. And everybody who won the cup on the lease team last was dead. So what's your point? Hangs on to the puck. Now a quick pass to Bouchard. What a stop as he puts up. At least I got a shot off. Jesus. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. From in close. Claps it with a glove. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. Maintains possession. The Oilers take possession in the defensive end. Bouchard's got the puck in his own oh, zone. Oh, oh, thank you. Nuge, Keith. what are you doing, man? The Oilers pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Jeez. Picked up along the boards by Dreisaitl. The Oilers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Gaining momentum along Oh, great. The Keith on defense. That's going to work well. Oh, shit. <laughs> Quick pass to Dreisaitl. Here's a chance to clear the defensive zone. All right, at least I got it out of the zone. The Oilers slide it through center. Taken by Bouchard. The Oilers have it now. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. And of course, I'm six miles offside. Jesus. Cheater. <sighs> Remind me to turn off offsides next time. Wrong guy. There you go. The Oilers carry it along the wall. Fumbles 
the victim of a hook penalty coming up. What? Whoa, I'm getting, getting a power boy? Right Toronto, what are you doing? And he comes up with the save. Here's a chance on the backhand. Time for the I like Edmonton and the talent they have, but they wasted. Oh, absolutely. Well, I think everybody in the world will agree with you on that one. But the penalty is really going to hurt get a freaking goalie. Yeah, we need a goalie. And we let Larson walk instead of keep him. Yeah. I think Larson was going to go regardless, so. Everybody can breathe a little more comfortably if this power play group can do the job. The number one rated unit has a chance to stretch this lead. Nice speed from the goaltender. Nope. Nice shot. Puck grabbed by McDavid. Thank you. <laughs> Been hoping that the extra work done on the power play would help them capitalize. Miss with the assist. <laughs> that pass is perfect. I mean, James, I think you can again see tape to tape. It's right in the middle yeah. of the blade, flat. And, and Toronto needs a solid defense. Yeah, Captain Ed, I'll completely agree with you on that. Like Toronto, Toronto and Edmonton both need work to be Stanley Cup contenders right now, Can both for different reasons. Toronto does a better job of keeping the puck and playing without the puck. Yeah. Puck scooped up by Barry. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. I couldn't even play that one if I tried. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I was trying. No, that's one thing I found about this game. No! Oh, if I would have Moves it to McLeod. And that pass goes awry. Scooped up along the wall by McLeod. Oh yay. There's no one after that missed pass. Puck picked up by Legasol. Legasol, that's Legasin, you dumbass. Inside the defensive zone, moving the I love how some of these names are off. Moves it quickly over to Bouchard. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. <laughs> oh, Nuge with the hit. Taken by Dreisaitl. Puck grabbed by Barry. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Keith. Here's a short pass to Benson. The Oilers have it against the wall. And now it's over to Fogel. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. And that's blocked. Bouchard's moving the puck through his own zone. Passes it over to McDavid. Moves it around along the half wall. Less than a minute to go here in the second. Oh, yeah, sure. Give me Keith while... <laughs> Give me Keith while you're trying to... You got McDavid. That's going to work out well. Wow. Toronto likes me number one, which is why they only only made it to the first round. I'm a fan, but I'm a realist. They're disappointing in the playoffs. Yes, yes, they are. So are the Oilers. That was nasty, Parrish. That was nasty. Yeah, but I'm also going to say this, and you're going to not like me for it. Go ahead. As much as I love watching Toronto play often in the playoffs and having Dawson always win, there was part of me that was kind of hoping the Pats were going to win. Oh, trust me, I I'm with you. Time tonight. He's not looked comfortable. Even in warm up, I thought he was a little bit shaky. He makes a good save there to keep his team somewhat in the game. And with that, two periods now in the books. Been a great night of hockey here. On this has been Twitter. rough. We got the third period well, for me, yes, it just told me it was 2 1. Okay, now I got to see what I'm doing for. Okay, so Bills Chiefs is uh, 4.30 on uh, 4.30 on Sunday. It's not bad at all. Packers 49ers are Saturday night. And the Cardinals TBA game is the early one on Sunday. 
I mean, what are missing the Chiefs and the Bills? No, you. You yeah, guys. The Harris, if he shows on Sunday next week. Oh, Jesus, really? Yeah. I actually wanted to get a chance to go, and then. I find it weird they're running the same. Normally, they try to avoid doing the same time as a GCW show. If it makes you feel any better, I found out after our match um, during the promo. Nice. I hate the TO Di TO diehard fans though. Yeah. Don't worry. We're in a we're in a big club for this. Something you know, but McDavid has four points. Big rig. How the hell is he known as a big rig? So do you know who your opponent is next week or are they still deciding what's going on? I believe it's Sun Irish now against the Big Cat Rescue. Ah, Steven Styles and Cato. Yeah. All right. Fess up. Has Styles gotten any better in the ring? Yes, actually. Good. I'm glad to hear. From the left side, they gain the zone. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Also, did you expect me to say anything bad about the guy who chased me? Well, he's not gonna. He's not gonna watch. Nobody clip. Nobody would clip that on me. Well, I would. But. <laughs> oh. But no, the honest answer is yes. Yeah, I've heard he's gotten better, but don't bury the Booker. Crowder in the chat. <laughs> Crowder, you you might like a picture that might be coming out online, by the way. A picture of Crowder coming out online right away? Uh, there might be a picture coming out right away. It might be during his poker. The Oilers have a four goal lead. Bouchard's lugging the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Nugent Hopkins. And he puts that one aside with ease. I was looking for a rebound there, but of course there is none. Nugent Hopkins has the puck against the half wall. Taken by Yamamoto. Great hit. And of course. Oh, and of course, no pass. Puck said down the ice. We'll get an ice <laughs> Nice. Run me from behind. Yeah. That's not going to be a penalty or all eventually. Puck possession so critical. Another face off coming up here. The Oilers win the face off. They've got a tired group against them. That win sets up an offensive play. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. I still got the shot on. And he serves it across to Yamamoto. Oh, the lag there. The Oilers get a hold of it. Moves the puck to Yamamoto. Poked away in the defensive end. The ah! The, the, the guy's open in the middle. I just can't get it to him. And now it's grabbed by Fogel. And he's gonna ice it. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. Sorry? So I'm a little filthy with McDavid. Yeah, a little? Half the period has expired. <laughs> wow. The Oilers lead it by a score of 5-1. Their offense came to play in a big way tonight. Picked up along the wall by Bouchard. The Oilers gain possession. Oh. No, you're not getting that again. Cassian, Cassian get the fuck out of the way while I pass the puck! Oh. oh, I think that went off his mask and somehow stays out of the net. Oh, man, James, there's lots of times I'm happy. I you deserve to get hit like that. That's one of them. Oh, Can you imagine taking nice. that puck right between the eyes? That can't oh. feel very good. I got there just oh, before Smith touched it. <laughs> I love the, uh... My thoughts so on Cassian? Yeah. Playing, so like I, I, hear it on I can actually hear it in the background too. As I'm getting a penalty. What the hell? Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, it's Lagason. Put him in the minors. <laughs> Honestly, after Lagason's agent talked about how he doesn't deserve to be in the minors. The Oilers send their man advantage unit out once more. This I mean, to be fair, have you seen the other defensemen? Yeah, but it does, it's, it's not like he's making himself look good. <sighs> it's McDavid. So you take the other guy out. Like, you take the other guy out and you leave McDavid alone. Like, I'm not gonna lie, when they were putting that on, I just saw the UCK and I was like, what are they saying? <laughs> oh my. That was like, really? Thank you. I think I put that one in my own net. I don't care what it took. I got a goal. No, it gave Barry an assist, so. Hey, Andre. You get to watch Parrish absolutely roast me here. What? I thought no when I saw that no one I thought I slid because I also did the poke check. I thought maybe I poke checked it in too. No, I actually scored it. Yep, don't pass it up the middle. Oh. <laughs> Pass it in the corner, that works. Yeah, I'm not sure that breakaway was the way he planned it. I mean, you get it. This is like a practice that I gave the guy the wrong jersey. And he makes the save on that play. The Oilers have it now. And he regains control. Oh, it's covered by my banner. Yeah, I'm uh, he's up 6-2. Yeah, I'm gonna have to when I when I do the sports ones, I'm gonna have to. Uh, you're pulling your goalie. I'm calling timeouts of this lens rested and keeping them on. It's funny because in this game, sometimes it doesn't happen. I'll we'll find out. No, you. That's a good point, Andre. Sorry, uh, bringing it up in the chat here. Uh, if you look at the stream, actually, you can't see the score because and the time because um, my overlay is covering it up. So I'm actually going to have to come up with my other bit. I'm actually working on a different uh, display for everything. Now we can see him. Hey, look, Edmonton is actually going to win a game. Miracles never cease to amaze. I want a face off, though. Part of a fire drill? The Oilers win the draw. Great reach with the poke check. And no luck on that pass attempt. And they'll go the other way with a great play by Ryan. They go on the attack from the left side. The Oilers gain control. <laughs> He looks a little banged up here, James, but he's still trying to gut out this ship. The Oilers have it in the Oh, it's Seaver. He ain't going to do shit with it. Into the attack. No! Takes a shot. That eyes him on the play. <sighs> yeah, I'm keeping him up. Smith let... <laughs> Smith only let in... Si oh, yeah, I guess he did let, let in eight goals here, technically.
There's Heaver hits uh, the old man like that. Yeah. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back on Jesus. The Oilers have it in the offensive end. Takes it at center. <laughs> I think that's the only time you're going to get away with having Nurse nail uh, McDavid like that. Wow. Well, at least they got you a little more fine tuning here tonight. I wonder if McDavid's going to be the first and second star. That would be hilarious. Oh, as we get to see all McDavid highlights, I got one, you got six. <laughs> Paris, <laughs> Paris wins all right with the world. Thanks, Andre. I love you too, jerk. <laughs> so yeah, I think I know what I'll do. Uh, yeah, next time when I set up the HUD, HUD I'm going to set it up up top instead of the bottom here. That's all. I guess Hyman did get a lot of points because of McDaisy. Yeah. Yeah, so you got <laughs> And Hyman with the second over here. Steve, you must have been using bars, right? Yeah. He got a goal for you. Yeah. Right there. And then McDavid. You're McDavid. No, but I think Steve was a third star. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see if you got that first goal, right? Oh, look at that power play. Two for two. Yeah. Really good, sir. That's why you only My had a minute two. Got better too. That's why you only got a minute two on the power play. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> you had more power play minutes than had half the amount of power play. Yeah. So that means my special team is perfect. Yep. <laughs> well, with McDavid, what do you expect? Like, that last goal that you got with McDavid, that was just pure stupidity on my part. It's amazing what happens when he's actually in the middle of the ice on the power play, though. Eh? Yeah, it's amazing, you know. Maybe, maybe uh, Tippett's watching tonight and he can uh, take some notes. Well, if he's taking notes on people playing NHL, then maybe he does deserve to be fired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would say so.